Hello everyone, I'm going to show you an experiment on how to isolate DNA from a fruit using household materials. So for this experiment, we will be using the following materials. So first we have to peel the banana. Okay, so we will be needing a small, I will be placing it here. Okay, and I'm going to pound it just to make sure that I could get the fine uh, form of it. So I'm going to pound it. Okay. okay, so after pounding the banana, we're going to set this aside and then we will be making our buffer solution. Okay. To make our buffer, we will be mixing these three materials, water, liquid uh, dishwashing soap, and then salt. Okay, so we're going to mix these three ingredients in this container here. So let's just put a few drops of this one, two, just... Okay. And then of course, let's put just maybe a spoon okay of salt okay so i'm going i'm using a rock salt here okay and then we're going to add water so you have to pour the water gently because we don't want uh bubbles okay to form as we mix our uh, buffer solution okay so i'm going to use this stirrer okay going to use this stirrer I mean this chopstick to stir our solution okay since we have our buffer solution we can now pour it here in our uh, banana so the main purpose of our buffer is to open up the banana cells so that we can extract the DNA so we're gonna wait for 15 minutes okay for our banana to be completely soaked in our buffer solution Okay, so 15 minutes is over, so we can now pour our solution in our container. So, so we're going to pour this uh, ethyl alcohol, 70% ethyl alcohol in our solution. So we have to do it gently. So we're going to tilt a little this container. So as you can see, there is a white material that emerged from our solution. That So we can use this stick to get our... Uh, isolated DNA of bananas as you can see all right so I hope you enjoyed our simple experiment using common household materials in isolating DNA what you can do is try other fruit samples instead of banana why, why not try chico why not try mangoes or strawberries okay so, so again I hope you enjoyed our simple experiment